said Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this quick and easy poppy pin. You will need black and red yarn in double knit weight, a 3mm crochet hook, and you will also need a darning needle and scissors to weave in the ends. So let's get started. Start with a magic ring. And in the magic ring, crochet six single crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now pull the tail of the magic ring to close this hole. Let's pull tight. And this is your first. A row. On the second round we will increase in each of the six stitches and to mark the beginning and end of each row use a piece of yarn and put it in between the stitches like so and uh, now we will increase in each of the stitches so that means we are making two single crochet in each stitch so that is one and this is the second single crochet I made in the first stitch. Now we move to the next and make two single crochet again. So that's our second increase. Now let's make our third increase. Fourth. Fifth increase. and our sixth and last increase and you know you finish the row when uh, you want to insert your hook in the next stitch but you can't because you have a piece of yarn uh, now we won't be using this anymore we'll be closing this round by slip stitching in the first single crochet we made and this is our second row and we are done working with the black we will cut the yarn and move to the red. So pull through and weave in these two ends. Okay, so this is the middle of the poppy and we will be working now the two uh, layers uh, on the front and back loop of the stitch. So we will work this round on the back loops of the uh, stitches and this uh, row on the front loops and we will be starting with the back loops. And if you never, uh, if you don't know what uh, working in a back loop or front loop means um, when you insert your hook uh, through the stitch you insert it through these two loops right here uh, when we work in the back loop we only insert our hook in the loop that is away from us this loop and when we work in the front loop only we insert our hook and make our stitches just through this front loop the loop that is closer to you uh, and this is how uh, this is what it means to work in a back or front loop of the stitches so let's start with the red now we will work in these back, back loops and uh, the round has 12 stitches so we will work in 12 back loops and pull the yarn through and chain 3 and this counts as our first double crochet and in the same loop uh, crochet another double crochet and I also like to work over the ends so I'll just keep my end around the edge like this and crochet over it so when I insert my hook um, through the back loop I also pick up this end as well 
So in the next back loop, make two double crochet. And we will continue like so to make two double crochet in each of the remaining stitches. And this is your third row and you should have 24 stitches now let's close the round by slip stitching on a top chain of the chain 3 you made at the beginning so let's make a slip stitch in that top chain on round 3 we will start with two single crochet in the next stitch And then three single crochet in a following stitch. Then two single crochet in the next stitch, followed by three single crochet in the next stitch. And then just repeat this, uh, repeat alternating. Two single crochet in one stitch with three single crochet in the next stitch until the end of the round. And now when you reach the end of the round slip stitch in a first single crochet you made and then cut the yarn pull through and weave in the end and you can see how this last round is curling up the base if you want it uh, flatter than this then just make two single crochet in each of the stitches if you want it curlier than this, so if you want it even more curly than this, then make three single crochet in each of the stitches around. So let's weave in this end and then we continue with our uh, second petal, the middle part of the poppy. But first, it's easier to weave in the ends, it's easier to work with the poppy and when you weave in your end make sure you weave it at the back of the poppy you just pull it through a few stitches back and forth and it should be fine okay all right so just cut the yarn and let's continue with our uh, middle part of the poppy and the middle part will be crocheted into the front loops of the stitch i'm not sure if you can see them uh, but they are here 
and they were exposed when you crocheted in a back loop. So you should have 12 uh, front uh, loops like this and we will make our uh, round in those stitches. So again, uh, bring the red yarn and pull it through one of the um, front loops just like we did on the other side now pull it through and then just chain one now we're going to make um, a two single crochet in this uh, this uh, chain one doesn't count as a stitch so we will just make two single crochet in this front loop I also um, try, try as much as possible to crochet over the end so I don't have so many to weave in. Um, if it's easier for you, just leave it aside and then weave it in. If you're more uh, used to crocheting with the ends, then just weave it, um, crochet over it. All right, so now in the next stitch, in the next front loop, uh, make again two single crochet. And we will be making two single crochet in each of these front loops so basically it's an increase that's what we call it in uh, amigurumi or in crocheting in a round uh, we call it an increase also uh, known as two single crochet in the same uh, stitch so if it helps just bend this uh, base petal down and uh, expose these uh, loops right here and make two single crochet in each of them. my last front loop I'm still weaving over the end which is right here I'm just gonna quickly cut it off out of the way and this is our um, first round I guess of the middle part and we have two single crochet in each of these stitches in total 24 single crochet now a uh, slip stitch in the first single crochet you made to close the round and we will go on with the second round and in the second round we will make again an increase in each of these stitches so we will make two single crochet in each um, stitch all around so uh, in total of 48 single crochet.
so now I've reached the end of the um, round and I will make a slip stitch in the last stitch just to close the round and now cut off the yarn and pull through and just use your needle to weave in the ends okay so let's do this really quick and just weave it in at the back of the stitches back and forth a few times and this is a poppy pin so you won't be washing it uh, it's fine you just need to secure the end and this is how it looks like now and all you have to do uh, through the middle you can insert a pin and pin it to your jacket or use a safety pin you can also turn this in um, hair pin or uh, a bag pin it's all up to you uh, it's quite small uh, I think it's about six centimeters wide so it will look yeah six centimeters um, it's quite small and it looks really really cute on a pin on a jacket And this is how you crochet a poppy pin. I hope you found my tutorial easy to follow. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below and I will make sure um, I will answer them as soon as I see them. And uh, that's it. Happy crocheting!